I wanted to show you guys this uh, iBird app on my iPad in case you wanted to check it out. Like I say, it's expensive, but it's a good app. So uh, here's a little little look at it. So you just uh, go ahead and let's uh, let's do a search. Whoops! Hit the wrong button. Let's do a search. American. Goldfinch. Bam, there it is. So you just press it. And there you go. Notice that uh, they've got all kinds of different, uh, trying to get it focused. They show you the, uh, the range, the sounds, similar birds, actual photos of it. There's a place where you can put your own photos in there of it. Diane, <laughs> how you can identify it, facts about it. I guess you can uh, mark this like as a favorite ecology, what family it is. Pictures of it on Flickr, a uh, link to a place called Birdpedia, glossary, and a journal. So you can go through and uh, I think you can uh, scroll. You know, it has different information about uh, each bird and it will show you actual real pictures of it uh... there was a female Here's this this one's a male uh... or there's a real picture of it i guess uh... this is a winter female it says and this is a probably oh which whoop, i guess the bottom one's a winter female this one's a winter male this is a american goldfinch female and American goldfinch male. And then of course it has, you know, whatever information it, it shows there about it. But then, uh, you know, you can also, like, if you uh, press this button down here, you can hear what they sound like. And then, you know, there's a, it has similar sounding birds here. Uh, this is a Lawrence's goldfinch. This one's a lesser goldfinch. Siskin. But again, uh, let's see. Um, here's a. If you click on this here, it goes to the actual photograph. Let's see if I'm gonna focus. This is a male one in summer, male four in summer. American goldfinch female in winter, American goldfinch male two in summer, male three in summer, American goldfinch female one in summer, female two in summer. Uh, let's see how to identify them. Uh, here it comes up with some uh, uh, some information about the body, about the head. Flight patterns. Then it has like uh, general information here and breeding and nesting, foraging and feeding, vocalization, similar species, breeding location, breeding type, egg color, 
egg incubator, nest material, migration. Uh, what else? Facts. If you click on facts, come up with some facts about them. Uh, the ecology. Uh, here's about the ecology. The family. Talks about the different uh, habitats and habits, migration, conservation, interesting facts. And then I guess here's a link to Flickr. It'll take you over to Flickr, the Flickr site, uh, probably for more photos. And here's what comes up in, with that, but I'm going to go back to iBird. And uh, let's see. Oh, and then it would, uh, here's a here's a uh, loading, I guess. Still loading, loading. I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, something else was going through. Let's go to Birdopedia and see what it says. It's another website, I guess. It's about the American goldfinch. So anyway, it's a it's a good. It's a good app. It's expensive, but if you are really into birds, uh, you know it's 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 a it's a very good app that uh, I think uh, I think that you uh, you would find that you enjoy. Uh, like I say, especially if you're into birds, and it, you know there's so many birds, obviously that uh, uh, you know it. it this particular one is the western edition you know so it goes to mainly birds that are found in the west so all these different kinds of birds that are found in the west so and uh, you can do you know you can browse or you can have a search favorites uh, photo center help you know slideshow settings all these different kinds of things so anyway I just wanted to show that to you uh, so check it out if you get a chance